U.S. President Donald Trump is set to announce next week that he will decertify Iran's nuclear accord with world powers, The Washington Post reported on Thursday. The American Daily newspaper cited unnamed officials who had reportedly been briefed on the White House's emerging strategy on Iran. The president is expected to make his announcement on his Middle East and Iran strategy next week. The president is going to make an announcement about the decision that has made on a comprehensive strategy that his team supports, and will do that in the coming days, said Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary. If Trump does decide to rescind the accord, the move could lead to renewed sanctions on Iran. The accord, which was struck under Barack Obama's presidency in 2015, saw Iran agree to increased inspections and restrictions on its nuclear program in return for sanctions relief. Trump has criticized strongly the deal as one of the worst deals I've ever seen and insisted that Iran is not abiding by the terms of the accord. Speaking on Thursday to U.S. military leaders, Trump said the Iranian regime supports terrorism and exports violence, bloodshed and chaos across the Middle East. That is why we must put an end to Iran's continued aggression and nuclear ambitions. When pushed on whether he would decertify the deal, the president replied that yeah I'll be hearing about Iran very shortly. While Trump and his supporters in Washington have opposed the deal, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has advised against its repeal. Britain and other key European nations have also urged that the accord be allowed to continue. Israel, meanwhile, has lobbied the U.S. president to continue and step up his confrontational approach towards Tehran. Last month, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said that Tehran would not renegotiate the terms of the deal, warning that its decertification would carry a high cost for the United States of America. Trump is expected to lay out his Middle East strategy on October 12 when analysts expect the president to increase his confrontational approach.